Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamisha and you are watching A Mouthful where I love to share recipes and everything food related. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick and simple recipe for classic French toast. So at our house, we love breakfast any time of the day. I'm more so a pancake girl myself and my kids love waffles. But if you say French toast, everybody is coming together with the plates out in the kitchen. So I'm going to show you a quick and simple recipe the way that we like to make it in our home so that you can go ahead and make it any day that you feel like breakfast for dinner for brunch or for lunch or just whenever, a lazy weekend, you too can have French toast in your kitchen. So let's get right into okay, the recipe. So to get started with our ingredients in my little pie plate, um, I have four eggs, which I'm gonna take my fork and just kind of break them up and whisk them. And you just wanna get it broken up. And then to this, what I'm going to add in in this bowl, I have two tablespoons of sh white sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, about a pinch of nutmeg, and a even smaller pinch of salt. So we're going to get this added in to our eggs and just give this a good whisk. Oh, I'm not making a mess already, guys, and the video just started. <laughs> but you want to go ahead and get your cinnamon mixture beat in with your eggs because once you add the milk and if you were to add your cinnamon afterwards, um, the cinnamon kind of just stays floating on the top and it doesn't really get distributed well onto your French toast. All right, so to our beaten, beaten egg mixture, we're gonna go ahead and add in one teaspoon of pure vanilla. And then in here, I have a half a cup of whole milk and then two tablespoons of cream. Now the cream is completely optional. I just like to add it just for a little extra richness. You don't have to do that. And I also wanted to mention that when I added the nutmeg, you don't have to add the nutmeg either. I just like the flavor of it, but you can totally omit the cream and the um, nutmeg. Completely up to you. Okay, so we're gonna get our milk beaten into our eggs and then we're gonna move on to our bread. Okay, so in my nonstick pan, I have just a little drizzle of oil and as well as some butter. I'm gonna go ahead and let that melt and then I'm gonna show you the bread that I'm using. So I like to use brioche bread um, for my French toast. I like it because it's just buttery, it's a little bit sweeter. I like the texture of it, but you can use any bread that you want to. Um, Texas toast is really good for French toast if you wanna use that. When I was growing up, I learned how to make French toast from my dad, he used to make it for me all the time. And we used thin sliced white bread and I was going back for seconds and thirds. So use what bread you have in your house. <laughs> you don't have to get brioche if um, you don't have it. Just use whatever you have. And this mixture should give me maybe six to nine slices of French toast. So once my butter is melted in my pan, I'm gonna start dipping our bread into our egg and milk um, mixture and go ahead and get a few slices okay, in so here. Our, bubble, our bubbles, <laughs> our butter is bubbling. So what we're gonna do now is start to dip our bread into our egg mixture. You don't wanna soak it because you really don't want a soggy French toast, but you don't wanna like half dip it either. I mean, you want it to be completely coated. So we're gonna go ahead and get our slices laid down in there. And then you can see the cinnamon is evenly distributed between the batter. And it looks like I can get one more slice in here. Okay. All right, that looks good. Don't want it to drip everywhere. Okay. And I can smell it already. <laughs> that smells good. So let me wash my hands real quick. Okay, so you would just kind of want to take your spatula and just lift up to see if it's browned on the other side. And if it is, just go ahead and give it a quick flip. And I love how it's a little bit of caramelization on there from the sugar. Okay, flip that over. Ooh, that looks good. That's going to be my slice right there. <laughs> okay, and another thing I wanted to say is I noticed on these slices here is that um, you want to make sure that your egg mixture is beat very well because 
Um, I did not beat mine <laughs> as good as I should have. I was I should have been a little bit more patient because you can see um, a little bit of a scrambled egg right there, but it is okay. I mean, we're gonna eat it anyway, right? <laughs> okay, so you want that other side to go ahead and brown and cook all the way through. Move your butter around just a little bit. And then another thing I wanted to mention if you're not able to cook all of your slices at one time, so like if you don't have a griddle and you're cooking yours in a nonstick skillet like myself, um, I'm making a large batch. So this is going to be probably about um, nine slices, which means I got to, you know, empty the pan and do this in batches. What you can do is preheat your oven, go ahead and um, set your oven to 200 degrees. And then I have a little baking sheet right here. You can take your French toast that's already cooked put it on your baking sheet and just keep them warm in your oven as you prepare your other batches. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up these batches of French toast. And then we come back when we come back, we'll go ahead and get some syrup on it and breakfast is ready. Okay guys, another thing I wanted to mention is in between your batches, if your butter or your oil starts to get a little bit too dark, um, just take a paper towel or a clean cloth and um, wipe your pan out in between batches and just replace it with some fresh butter. Because you know, butter is gonna burn and you don't want that on your on your French toast. So just clean your, your pan out in between batches and you'll be good to go. So our French toast is done and I was able to get exactly 12 slices of French toast with the batter that I made up. Like literally by that 12 slice, I was scraping, <laughs> I was scraping the pie plate. You can pair this with your favorite breakfast um, size, like some scrambled eggs, um, some fruit, some bacon or sausage if that, if that is your choice, um, or just top it with some butter and syrup and do like I'm about to do, sit in front of the TV and catch up on some Hulu and enjoy uh, your delicious breakfast at any time of the day. All right, guys, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video just as much as I loved making it. And if you um, give it a try, definitely comment down below in the comment section if you try this recipe out. Once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another video. And I hope to catch you guys next time. Have a great day.